should be what is this Bhagavan? Not where is Bhagavan? Why? Because when you ask where, you have already decided how a Bhagavan should look. <laughs> if you ask where is so and so, you are you are asking where is so and so as a person, as an individual occupying space having a certain body mind sense complex then only you can ask your question where is so and so so and so has a location already you have a certain knowledge about what that person should be that person is bound by time and space If you know the person, then you can say the person is not here, therefore where is the person? To conclude the person is not here, you must know the person and the person's absence. That person is not here because you know the person, how that person looks, that person is not here, you can ask kither hai. <laughs> when we try to understand what is that person, who is that person, is there a person, then the question should be what is Bhagavan? not where is Bhagavan. Suppose Bhagavan is everything, suppose I say all that is here is Bhagavan, like that villager, that is the spiritual heritage of India. Most of the indigenous religions in the world have that kind of reverence. But here, that villager's attitude is born of certain understanding which can be taught because it is knowledge, it can be handed over. Attitude you imbibe can be disturbed if it is not born of understanding. It remains undisturbed when nobody confuses that person, when somebody comes and confuses, <laughs> then it is disturbed. An attitude that is born of understanding cannot be disturbed, but behind that attitude is understanding. And therefore, 
one can make others understand if one understands. Initially, I told that is the heritage of India. It has a teaching tradition. Therefore, knowledge can be handed over. We have a very well evolved methodology of handing over. If you persist with the question, what is Bhagavan? We have to say, this Bhagavan should be all knowing. Because we are talking of all that is given. All means what one knows plus what one does not know. This is called all. Sarvam means jnatam plus ajnatam. What is known to me plus what is not known to me, which is there. This is called sarvam. This sarvam is a srishti. Then if it is intelligently put together, I cannot but presuppose sarvam is known. Sarvam implies sarva jnanam, correct? Sarva jnanam, because everything is intelligently put together. The pot maker knows what a pot is like. He knows also how it is going to be made use of. Then afterwards, how to make it? Skill. What all things required are required to make it? Material. So all these are involved in Srishti. So, this Jagat Srishti, which includes my body mind sense complex, include Sarvam includes your body mind sense complex. This Jagat Srishti implies all knowledge and it does not take any great intellect to understand knowledge rests only in a conscious being. Knowledge cannot be in an insentient thing, Ni neither ignorance can be. A rock is not capable of having knowledge is not capable of having ignorance also. Only a conscious being can be ignorant as we are all conscious beings and we can be ignorant of a few things, a lot of things. <laughs> if one is ignorant, one can also know. That is what the teaching is about. If one knows, one can make the other know. If one is confused, one, one can make the others also confused. Therefore, where there is ignorance, there can be knowledge. Where there is knowledge, there was ignorance also. When we talk of all knowledge, no ignorance please. <laughs> all knowledge also rests in a conscious being. 
like small knowledge rests in a conscious being. And once you say conscious being, all knowing, all skill also you have to add, because we are talking of Sarva Srishti. Therefore, the Sarva Srishti Karta cannot borrow skill from anybody. There is nobody. And therefore, that Bhagavan has got to be all knowing, all Shakti also, Sarva Jnaha, Sarva Shakti Man. Kidar hai question comes because we do not take into account another cause necessary for Srishti. The obvious the other cause is material. The Jagat has a certain reality. We will talk about the reality perhaps quite later. <laughs> it has a certain reality. And in keeping with that reality, there must be material. That material can it be separate from the maker is an important question. One cannot say Bhagavan created this entire jagat out of nothing. Out of nothing, what one can create? Nothing. Out of nothing, one creates nothing. That's only a sentence is created. <laughs> Out of nothing, Bhagavan created nothing. <laughs> Means there is no creation. There is no srishti. Creation is not a good word. Why we will see later. Let us say srishti. Srishti of the jagat cannot come out of nothing. Therefore, you have to say even Bhagavan has to have something to create this world in keeping with its reality that something, some, some material must be there. That is very easy to understand. That the Srishti Karta must necessarily have a material. And here is a very important question. Between the Srishti Karta and the material, is there any separating factor? Two things are separated by space in between. So, between this Bhagavan and the material 
if there is a separating factor, that separating factor should be space. Then the question is, <laughs> what is, who is the Srishti Karta of space? The greatest joke is in the modern world, you can say <laughs> Bhagavan is upper and get away with it. I do not know anybody, how anybody can get away with it. Upper means in space. In space means then you have address of Bhagavan. <laughs> then you have to give me the city and and the and the locality and the street also and the apartment number also. In the apartment in which which room he is there, in which sofa he is sitting, must be an old person. If you say it is not space, then you have to tell me what is that. Upper then you cannot talk about. Therefore, Bhagavan cannot be in space because the question will be who created space? <laughs> space is otherwise space is Bhagavan. Space and time are part of the Jagat. In fact, there is no Jagat without space and time. This this jagat that I see is in space and time. You can't think of an object outside space and time. How anybody can say anything? Therefore, in in the Villagers answer lies a great truth. The truth is the space also is, is Bhagavan. The earth is Bhagavan, the air is Bhagavan. Everything else that is here is Bhagavan. That is India. That is why in India we allowed any form of, of worship. Any form of prayer. Because everything is Bhagavan. The villager attitude reveals that. To behind that attitude is this understanding that the maker, Srishti Karta, should be also the material. Maker and the material must be one and the same. There cannot be a separating space between the material and the maker. From one standpoint, you say Bhagavan is the material. From another standpoint, you say Bhagavan is 
the maker correct if that is so anything that is born of a given material is not separate from the material the shirt you wear is the fabric is not separate from the fabric you can't make a shirt without a fabric fabric can be without being a shirt but no shirt without being fabric understand where the created object is shirt there the material fabric is where the fabric is there the yarn is where the yarn is there the cotton is where the effect is there the material cause is if the material cause is also bhagavan where the jagat is there the bhagavan is and therefore space is bhagavan air <laughs> is bhagavan akashah vayuh agni is bhagavan fire is bhagavan apah bhagavan yat bhagavan anything on this yat is bhagavan what is not bhagavan that means is not just a creation now you understand now it is not somebody sitting there <laughs> upar or niche dropping the planets here <laughs> 3000 years ago <laughs> somebody said that <laughs> in india 3000 years is nothing <laughs> some of our houses are 3000 year old it's all it's all a manifestation of ishwara that's why shrishti is not just creation the word creation connotes somebody sitting there and creating something and sending it out no bhagavan is the material also therefore the srishti is abhivyakti therefore it is a manifestation as well creation from the standpoint of knowledge and shakti and from the standpoint of the material cause being bhagavan it is one manifestation here lies understanding of indian culture more of this we'll see next time thank you